Morning, honey. Morning. You woke me up again. How? You were sleeping when I got up. As usual, you wake up first and then you try to wake me up. What? You always do that. But I wasn't trying to wake you up. I just wanted to see if you were awake, maybe. And that you woke me up. Of course. I hardly touched you. Gosh, I was half asleep by myself. I let you alone, didn't I? Why are you so bitchy this morning? Have you slept poorly? No. I slept perfectly. So you had to wake me up. Can you please stop now? What would I ruin the whole day? Here are your eggs. Thank you, honey. You know, I'm sorry. Maybe I did sleep badly. I can't really remember. Thank you for the eggs. It's okay, darling. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have touched you when you were asleep. I know you don't like it. It's okay. It's not so important. Let's eat now. Fighting again, really? Everything was just so fine. You always doing the same thing. You always ruining everything. I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry I'm calling so late. It's just I said, he said. Was it? No one. It doesn't matter. So next week? Yeah. Yeah? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on, I don't want him to wait. It's just five minutes. I waited for you to leave the apartment, remember? Now you command me to run? I just could copy. I'm not going anywhere because of stupid five minutes. Did Peter call you? Do we have to hurry up? No, but I don't want to be disrespectful towards him. Go faster. It's 
last five minutes just writing. I will not write her. Come on. No. We will be late. Do as I say. Are you crazy? I'm not your dog. I don't want to make him wait. Why? It's so awful to let him wait five minutes. What the fuck, Alex? Just hurry up. I don't want to make him wait. If you say this one more time... He seriously thinks I have to run after him? I'm not having this. Look, there are ways in which you can talk to me and others in which you can't, okay? It's non-negotiable. If you bitch at me like that, I won't follow you anywhere. It's your decision how you talk to me, but it's also my decision if I'm having that or not. Do you understand that? Yeah, you're right. I know what you mean. I shouldn't talk to you like that. Look, I'm with Sonia now. I'm gonna have to go to work soon, okay? See you later, darling. Okay. Bye. don't need stress like this before work. Such a drama. Why did you have to make such a... Last week you didn't close the door properly. Come on, I'm show you now. I told you days ago, of course you know how to close the fucking door. We live in here for two weeks by now. I can't believe this. Oh my god, I even sent you a fucking video of me closing the door for Christ's sake. Leave me alone this shit now. Maria, Caroline, put that show on. Are you insane? We're talking grown up women here and that includes me. Would you ask a man, let's say Peter, to do the same thing? If you didn't close the door before, of course I would. You fucking bastard, no you St wouldn't. Stop it now! You always know everything better. You got a problem, Vicky. That's also the reason why I don't have so many friends. Open the door, Vicky! to buy it. No, it's okay. You can take one for free. Seriously? You look like you could need it. No. Why do you do that? You know, 
We talked about that many times already. Your anger problem and all this. And I really don't want to talk about it anymore, but something will have to change, you know? Exactly. Also talking about old things is not really healthy. You know that. We talked about that too. You seem very exhausted. Maybe you should rest for tonight. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm good. You know what? Today I went to the massage parlor, the new one down the street. And was so painful. Oh, I hate when they do that. Yeah, right? And the thing is, I didn't say anything. Can you believe that? I mean, I don't understand. Why didn't I tell her to not hurt me? It was really painful, you know? Hmm. You know, sometimes we're so busy with getting hurt, like processing the pain, really or simply needing a moment to feel the relief in between that we can't stand up for ourselves, I think. You see, if the breaks between the painful experiences are too short, there's simply no energy left, I guess. Um, you know what I mean. We hardly have enough time to gasp, let alone defend ourselves. Oh my God. You're so right. I mean... I didn't even tell her when I was paying. You know, like, the only time when they asked you if everything was all right. Well, you probably didn't feel like, because you didn't say anything before. And mentioning it now would seem rather stupid, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not one single day can pass by without you acting all weird. What is your problem? Why do you put it on me? Do you think? You're a good person? Careful. You're such a crazy woman. Maybe I should part with you. Alright. Okay. 